In the statement, delay 1,000, 1,000 stands for 1,000 milliseconds, which is equal to one second and is how long the delay lasts. The difference between analog rate and digital rate is that analog rate gives an analog PWM wave to a pin, and a digital rate is used to write a high or a low value to a digital pin. All the pins associated with analog rate are pins 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11, and they have a tilde in front of them. All the pins that can be used for digital write are pins 0 to 13. A call to analog write is on a scale of 0 to 255. And lastly, an Arduino's PWM frequency is 490 Hz, and on pins 5 and 6, 980 Hz, which I found online through the Arduino website. Using the example file of the blink code, I connected an LED and 330 ohm resistor in series and the LED resistor circuit was connected between pin 13 and ground, as you can see here. Here I modified the delay statements to use delay length as the argument and set that to 300, which therefore increased the frequency, making it blink faster. I changed the value of delay length to 10, which is about where I cannot see the LED blinking anymore. This makes sense after some research because the human eye can differentiate blinking up to 100 Hz, which is about 10 milliseconds. A duty cycle is the ratio of the time the system is on over the total period. So as we can see here, with the brightness at 100, the LED is on for longer than it is off. Now if I change the brightness to 10, you can see that it is on for less time. Using the example fade code, I was able to replace the analog write with my own PWM code. I found the on time by multiplying the 2 milliseconds, which is 2000 microseconds, and also the PWM period, by the brightness and dividing by 255, and therefore the off time would be the 2000 minus the on time. From my code, the brightness starts at zero and increases in brightness through the variable fade amount as it goes through the loop then blinks twice and runs the reverse direction of the fading and blinks twice and starts the loop over. The fade amount here was set to 1, so the frequency is rather slow. Unlike in the previous video where the fade amount was 1 and the frequency was rather slow, here I set the fade amount to 5, so the frequency is a little faster. Lastly, I set the fade amount to 10, and you can barely tell the fade apart from the blink because the frequency is so fast. And for question 5, using my knowledge of blink, I was able to make the LEDs bounce back and forth.